Hi, welcome to another edition of the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patia, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information, and advice. All right, so before we get into today's show, which will be about bell ringing, yes, not the ones in the churches back in home, we're talking about the bell ringers down the bars. Uh, But before we get into that, I just want to say a few things. Firstly, can I say thank you, a huge genuine thank you to all of you that kindly use the buy me a a coffee link in our description and help support the channel. It really is much appreciated and every single dollar that we get sent really does make a great difference. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who is helping support this channel. Okay, secondly, I wanna say congratulations Deep Charlies in uh, Soy Bacow. They were the winners of the best breakfast in uh, Patia that, that you guys voted on. Um, now we're going to be running a new one, and the new one is about the best Sunday roast. Now what we did, uh, as you may remember, is we asked for your um, nominations, and then the, the places that got the most nominations, we then went out and we've videoed, and you can see that video which we released yesterday. So please go in, have a look at the video, pass your votes on, there's also a vote in a uh, vote poll in our community page on the front page of our YouTube channel, as well as on all our social media, all the links are in our description. So please guys, as you did with the breakfast, we had over 400 votes, which was brilliant. Cast your vote, tell us out of the five that we've videoed, who you think is offering the best Sunday dinner. Okay, one last thing before we get into the coffee chat. Line, the line group. We want to bring you some photos and we want to bring you stuff for events and news and just things that we can't really make a video about, but really we'd like you to be aware of. So we've created a line group and uh, hopefully you can see the uh, link down below as well as the image that we're showing you. And uh, what I'd like to ask is please guys, join this line group. Okay, we can have 5,000 people in there. And what we will do is every time we see an event or we go to a bar and take photos of the girls, or there's some information we think you need to know about, we will send you that information. And uh, hopefully it'll be something that'll be of interest to you. So please join our line group and uh, let's see where we go with that. Okay, enough about all of that. Let's get down to business. Bell ringing. Are you a bell ringer? Are you? Because I'm not. I know many people that do it and I know many people that don't. And I just want to understand the concept because It's a bit of fun. It can be quite expensive, depending on where you are. And no, I'm not a cheap Charlie, but when you're ringing the bell, you know, it can add up. I don't know, you you guys tell me, if you've rung the bell before in a bar, what has been your bin? Please, if you don't mind, and forgive me for asking, but please tell me, what was the bin that you ended up with by ringing that bell? Because I don't get the concept, and I'll tell you the reasons why. And don't start slating me, you cheap Charlie, blah, blah, blah. I get all that, I get all that. But my point is this, and especially right now, especially right now, you walk into a bar, and let's be honest, you walk into a bar, and and to be fair, half the girls don't even acknowledge you anymore. It's gone to the old days where you used to go in and you have a big crowd around you and they would all be baying for your attention. That, That day's over now, that's finished. Because of the invention of mobile phones and all these group chats, et cetera, et cetera, the days of you feeling overwhelmingly welcomed are long gone, in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just my opinion. I find when you walk into a bar that two or three girls might pay you a bit of attention. The rest generally are on their phones or they're just bored looking out the window. It is what it is. Now, I know I'm no Brad Pitt lookalike, so I get that. So I do understand why some of them don't want to come and speak to me. But having said that, that is their job. That's how they make their money. So if I walk into a bar and then... These girls, I get two or three of them want to pay me attention. The rest are not interested or sitting outside or whatever they're doing. Why? Ding, 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 ding. Hey, you know you were ignoring me for for the last 10 minutes? Well, here's a drink for you. Thanks. Would you like to drink that and go and ignore me again? Or have I got this concept completely wrong? And listen, hey, I might live here. I might have been here a long time, but it doesn't mean I get everything right. It just means I have my opinion. So please share with me. If you think I'm a cheap Charlie or you think I'm a tight one or whatever you want to say, please, you know, don't be too abusive. But, you know, am I right in saying what is the concept of ringing the bell? Because for me, let's say a bell ring, and again, I've never done it, so please don't hold me to this. But let's just say for argument's sake, the bell ring cost you 1500 bucks. Let's just say, I don't know, you guys tell me what it costs because I honestly don't know. But let's just say it does. 
Surely that 1500 baht should go to the girl that's paying you the most attention and buy her a few more drinks. Because then would that not incentivize the other girls in the bar to say, actually, she's doing okay. Wonder why that is. Oh, I know why. Because every time a customer walks through the door, they're the first ones on him. Hi, how are you doing? What are you doing? Would you like a drink? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying that we need to change it where you walk into a bar and suddenly you're surrounded by girls all baying for a drink and attention because that's off-putting. But you get where I'm coming from. There is a level. There is a level. So I walk into the bar, a girl comes up to me and, and if it's going to be like this, maybe have it on a rotation. Have it on a rotation because we are the customer. And I know I've done it myself and maybe you've done it as well, where the girl that comes up to me isn't necessarily the girl that I'd like to stand, spend time with them and buy a drink. So I say to the girl politely, thank you very much for putting my drink down. Um, would you ask that girl over there to come and join me, please? And she'll walk off and she'll say, oh, the customer, and then she'll come over. That's how it is. There's no offense. It's not rude. It's just business. And that's the concept we've got to get in our heads. This is business. So if it's business, why don't the girls make a bit more effort? Is it because of the introduction of Tinder and all this other stuff that they use? Is it the sponsors or what? Because if they're not genuinely interested, why are we ringing the bell? It's great for the bar. And please, I'm not saying don't support the bar. What I'm saying is, instead of ringing the bell and buying everyone a drink and half of them are not even interested in you, why don't you pamper two or three girls? They get more money, so that's better for them. The bar still gets roughly the same amount of money, irrelevant of ringing the bell. And everyone's a winner. You're happy because you're getting more attention. The girls are happy because they're getting bought drinks. And the bar's happy because you're still spending what you would have spent had you have rung the bell. I don't know. Or is it a status? You know, you go in some bars and they've got these mirrored balls with all the mirror and they write all the people down. Great. I have no problem with it. I have no problem with it. I'm just asking the question, why ring a bell? Because when you walk in, I remember when I went to Cambodia once. And you walked into this uh, soy, I think it was soy 103, I think it was, on, on, the, on the river. And it was like you'd won the lottery. You know, you walked in and I was surrounded by 20 girls, all baying for my attention. Yeah, can you believe it? Me, me of all people. Anyway, but they were looking for my attention. And it was, it was a novelty. It was fun. It was enjoyable. And you wouldn't mind buying them drinks because they were making you feel special. And isn't that what this is about? When you come here on holiday, do you not want to be made to feel special? So is feeling special walking into a bar where they're all, oh, yeah, customers here, never mind. Is, is that making you feel special? Because it doesn't make me feel special. So why would you ring the bell? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'd love to understand the concept. And please, you know, let's be honest, you know, and, and let's keep it nice and friendly. Don't start hammering me saying, you cheap Charlie, blah, blah. Because I'm not a cheap Charlie, but I'm just trying to understand the concept of, why ring a bell when half of the people you're buying the drink for didn't even acknowledge you'd walked in the bar? That's my question. All right, guys, so over to you. Please comment below. Keep the chats going. I mean, the coffee chat has been fantastic. The support, the group, the growth of our channel has been amazing. I'm absolutely gobsmacked at how well we're doing. So thank you so much for everybody who's supporting the channel. And uh, please comment below. Let's see why ring a bell or what's the biggest bin you've had when you've rung a bell before? What did it cost you? How much was it? Please share away, guys. All right, so that's it for me today on the Coffee Chat Show. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. And also, if you'd like to be notified, hit the bell icon. And if you do want to sponsor the channel, the link for the Coffee Chat is down below. And uh, like I say, very, very grateful for any support whatsoever. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe wherever you are, and I hope to see you over on this side sooner rather than later. Have a great day wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.